when we hear the stories from other nations and, and uh, are hearing what God is doing and that um, hearing what he's doing through the movies, the love dare, um, it makes you really feel small. And, and because we have been with the Lord on this whole journey, we're thinking, how did this happen? You know, uh, we don't, we're not qualified, you know, apart from Christ uh, to do anything that would bring honor to him. And so, uh, but God takes our loaves and fish when dedicated to him and he blesses it and he guides our steps. And, but he always does it for his honor and glory. You know, uh, Alex and I, even this morning, we were praying together and saying, Lord, the harvest is plentiful. The laborers are few. Uh, would you help us to be always mindful of the harvest of, of souls and of lives and, and of eternity? And uh, a phrase that I was using this past Sunday at church was, eternity is too long for us to waste our time right now. Right. Heaven and hell is too long uh, for us to be wasting our lives right now. God wants us to be busy about things that will impact the nations, not just in this moment. You know, the billions and billions of people on this planet, yes, they need the gospel, and yes, they need the scriptures, and yes, they need love and mercy and compassion. But for all eternity is what you're doing in your life, what is it going to mean 33 million years from now in eternity? Because it is going to make an impact one way or another with how you live today. And so we're asking the Lord, continue what you've started. Continue to use these tools to impact the nations. Uh, continue to, to, um, to keep the momentum going. And it's funny, with every new movie or every new book, uh, God opens up a whole new audience to the previous movies and the previous uh, books. And, and so we're so grateful for what the Lord is doing. And at the same time, we're saying, God, keep us usable. And uh, so that we're not distracted or prideful or greedy, that, that we are keeping our focus on you and help us to daily walk with the mentality of, I need to die to myself today and take up my cross and follow Christ. And if he would continue to show mercy on us and draw us all to himself, he will show his glory among the nations. You know, he's returning soon. So um, we want to continue to proclaim his word. And uh, when we hear that it's happening, around the world. And uh, a soldier from Iraq is coming to Christ. A, a man in Jing, China is coming to Christ after reading uh, or watching Fireproof or uh, marriages are being restored through the love there in Brazil, you know, uh, by the thousands and upon thousands. Uh, we just give all the glory to God and we say, man, fasten your seatbelts. Let's press on together.